Has Tesla Model 3 met its match in Volkswagen ID3, which was unveiled at the Frankfurt Auto Show a couple of weeks ago? Here it is, uh, their Volkswagen Group CEO, uh, Herbert Dies, uh, on stage, uh, a couple of rows in front of me. This is me taping um, actually with my cell phone. And uh, here's us uh, making friends afterwards, so it all worked out. Uh, and then maybe one day I'll, I'll interview him as well. But, um, you know, until I actually uh, was at the unveiling, as you can see, this is, this is me doing the report right there on stage, only like 45 minutes after the unveiling. And you can see that video on my channel. I did not realize that as, as I was watching the presentation, how big of a deal this is going to be because um, ID3, um, you know, has a great price, uh, a great range. The maximum range is amazing and kind of has everything that I believe people are looking for in a compact car and uh, in, a, in an electric car in Europe. Now, I do have to mention that this car is only going to be available in Europe for now. I don't know if they're just going to keep it that way uh, because obviously in Europe it's easier to compete and you'll probably see why. I'm, I'm going to throw some numbers at you. Um, obviously, Model 3 is more expensive in Europe um, and a few other things that are helping uh, this car probably go head to head with uh, uh, a Model 3, but also I believe if it does well in Europe, it will probably come to the US um, and Canada and, and probably other, other countries around the world, so I wouldn't be surprised, but for now, uh, it's going in production. Uh, next year is going to be available. Uh, and they have tons of reservations. They have tens of thousands of reservations uh, for this car all over the place. So it's kind of a success already. But let's talk about some specs. And, uh, you know, you be the judge uh, if, if you think that this car can really, really compete with the uh, with the Model 3. So first, obviously, let's start with, ra with, with range. And let me just make sure you guys understand that um, we're going to do kilometers, first of all, because we're talking about Europe. Um, and we're going to talk about uh, w uh, WLTP, uh, which is European standard. It's about 10% more de gen generous than um, EPA. But because we're comparing, you know, I want to compare, compare apples to apples here. So as you can see, uh, Model, Model 3 has a bit of an advantage here, 600 kilometers, uh, 550 kilometers for um, ID3, uh, you know, and, and by the way, this is the maximum range. So I just wanted to compare the maximum capabilities, right? Because with, when, we, when, when it comes to price, we'll compare the base price. But this is kind of like we're going to compare best of each car to the best of the other car. So, um, you know, by the way, this is awesome, especially in Europe, distances are shorter than in the United States, and definitely this is going to go a long way as far as, uh, well, pun intended also. Uh, now, let's talk about price, and I think this is where there's a huge advantage here. Uh, before that, I uh, want to make sure you guys are aware that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out the all-electric M-Bytes starting at about $45,000 in the US, about 45,000 euros in Europe. Um, in about a year and a half, you can uh, you can reserve this car now. Uh, it is zero dollars and euros to reserve one. So go to the description of this video and reserve your Byton today. I am a reservation holder. All right, so let's talk about price. Uh, and the price is where um, uh, the, the, there's a huge advantage for the Volkswagen. It starts with, uh, they actually said below 30,000 uh, 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 euros. And uh, so we don't know yet. I mean, there's literally some rumors that it's like 22, but I'm just gonna go with 30, okay? Um, in Europe, uh, Model 3 is more expensive than in the US, uh, 38,000. And again, you know, I, I picked German numbers for this because the, the price for Tesla is different in different countries and then you and you have to convert it so I picked this is the German price for the for the Model 3 so 38,000 versus 30 or under thousand for uh, for ID3 that's a base price um, you know definitely if people are looking for a budget car and especially you know after the incentives it could be much much less you know, this could just be it. And even their starting range is not that bad. So uh, now let's move on to some, some other stats here. Uh, zero to 100 um, kilometers, uh, that's about zero to 62 miles an hour. Now, uh, this one I can't really compare because, uh, you know, there's no official numbers coming from Volkswagen. There, there are some rumors that it's going to be six or seven seconds, but something really not very fast. Uh, where uh, uh, Model 3, the performance can go 3.4 seconds. As far as performance, I think Model 3 is going to win in every single category here, uh, just simply because there's a, you know, it, it has the performance 
uh, 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 package and, and, and it is kind of was made, um, the, the performance package was made to be sort of used on, on track very successfully. So, so that's where Tesla is going to be the advertise. So I don't even care what ID3's uh, number is going to be. It's not going to be anywhere near uh, a Model 3. Let's talk about charging. The charging is a funny thing here, right? Now let's compare the top charging rate, which obviously Model 3 is one of the best around, 250 kilowatts versus 125 kilowatts for ID3. But, uh, and you know, obviously Model Model 3 is also gonna win here. Uh, the, 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 it, it, you know, again, comparing apples to oranges here, it's a little bit tough because top rate does not mean that that's what it's charging at. As a matter of fact, what's most important is, you know, for consumers, essentially, not for like chemistry geeks, right, or, or tech geeks, for consumers, for average consumers, what they care about is how many miles they're going to get back per each minute of charging. So we don't know that because we're going to have to have people like Bjorn and others to do the actual real test here and then find out. But still, I expect uh, Model 3 being much, much faster. Now, uh, as, as you also probably know, most people don't take long road trips very often. So this only plays a, a role when, when someone takes one of these cars on the road trip. But as far as charging it every day, it doesn't really matter because as a matter of fact, I think they're at both at 11 kilowatts anyway, because uh, what, no matter what happens, by the time you wake up, your car is fully charged. So, so that's that. <laughs> Almost all electric cars are, are, are equal there. Uh, now, of course, you can't talk about this without charging networks and, of course, uh, uh, you know, for long distance travel. And uh, this is where, obviously, uh, superchargers and people think it's a big advantage for uh, Tesla, but not, not really that much anymore. So, obviously, superchargers in Europe, but in Europe, they have uh, many fast charging networks, Ionity being one of the biggest ones. And um, this is a network that's been uh, invested by uh, BMW, Volkswagen Group, uh, uh, Daimler, the parent uh, company of Mercedes-Benz in Ford. Uh, and and uh, last month, and they've announced it on uh, the uh, Frankfurt Auto Show, Hyundai o o also jumped in as the partner. Now, this network can actually provide up to 350 kilowatt uh, top rate. And that's what they were kind of uh, showing at the um, very, very sexy, very sexy uh, uh, stations. They're very huggable, as you can see. See? Very hubble, hubble. And people were, when we were taking this picture, it was like people literally get around and go like, what the hell is this dude doing? I don't care. Uh, you can you can see more of these pictures on my Instagram, by the way. If you're not following me on Instagram, uh, E4 Electric. I'm, I'm E4 Electric everywhere, including TikTok, by the way. If you don't know what TikTok is, ask your teenage kids. Um, all right. And uh, so I also caught up with their... Um, CEO just to see where they're at because they're building out building out this network uh, uh, so much this year and they're kicking butt just like Electrify America uh, here in the United States that um, you know a uh, number of fast charging uh, locations uh, especially for cars that can actually use them uh, Ionity might start winning especially Ionity with the rest of the independent fast charging networks in Europe might just be a better solution though in Europe Teslas can also charge there but I caught up with our CEO and uh, here's what he had to say about uh, what the status of everything is right now? Well, first of all, the mission is really to establish 400 sites by the end of 2020. Actually, we are live with 140 stations with 50 under construction across Europe. Uh, and yes, more to come. We're talking about 24 different countries uh, and we're ramping up, up our high power charging network uh, in all these countries. So as you can see, they're building them pretty quickly. They started with zero like a year ago. Now they're about, he said, 140, 150 now uh, because there were a lot of them under construction. So uh, a big goals. So I would say um, these two are pretty much even as far as like if you want to take a trip in Europe uh, and especially by the time ID3 is going to be uh, on the road, which is in another, I think, six months or so, um, this is going to be very, very similar. Now let's talk about top speed. I usually don't care about top speed because people don't go 200 miles an hour all over the place, though in Germany they might. Um, but here's the thing. The top speed for ID3 is 160 kilometers an hour, which is really not that fast. Uh, 225 uh, kilometers an hour for, uh, for Model 3, but I'm a little bit surprised that that's the top speed uh, for ID3, though again, for everyday use, this is just fine. Now, um, let's look at the last category, and I think this is where actually just that alone, because the other specs, you know, plus or minus, I think overall, like we're just talking about daily usage, right? I think they're overall equal. But one thing that I 
think, well, okay, the price, uh, the price. But, but one thing that I think that some people will have no choice but to go with ID3 uh, is because of uh, the um, uh, continuous storage space. Uh, it's a hatchback. And uh, the you know uh, Model 3 has a trunk, and if you've seen the Model 3 in person, it's not a big trunk. So if you're let's say an um, ice hockey goalie like myself, it's not enough. And yes, you can jam stuff in the in the back seat, but you know if you have bigger things like surfboards and other stuff, you know hatchback is the way to go. This is something that <coughs> in Europe I got so excited I I'm choking. <coughs> in Europe, it's it's pretty it's pretty. Uh, uh, sort of uh, people don't think about it as much, right? You gotta have a hatchback, boom. Not a hatchback, no, not even gonna look that way. And by the way, we can also talk about looks, and uh, I don't know, I, you be the judge. I like all the, the, the way Model 3 looks a lot. So to me, I would definitely pick that, though, the uh, the the ID3 doesn't look that bad either, but I, you know I, I I've heard a lot of people not really liking the Model 3 look um, and actually defaulting back to more kind of a standard hatchback a compact car, which this one is, and and it, it is a good looking car as well. So I'm I'm biased here. I love the way Model 3 looks. I'm not a big fan of uh, hatchbacks, though I drive a Volt. So yeah, I know. Uh, but it is definitely going to be. Uh, an interesting competition, but I think this is where Tesla had found a match, and and it's good. Like I I, I really I I think I I think there will be people who will love their ID3, and there will continue being people who will love Model 3. But overall, I don't think they're going to be fighting too much uh, between each other. I think they will be consistently getting more and more and more uh, of the market share, and obviously less gas cars and more electric cars on the road. It's fine. Let me know in the comment section which one you would prefer and why. And of course, don't forget to uh, get on our VIP list, which is a bonus story that we send out at the end of each week. To those of you guys who just want more, something that we just can't fit into this um, uh, to this broadcast. And of course, uh, uh, don't forget to participate in our uh, Fit a YouTuber uh, program. Just for $5 a month, uh, you can provide uh, shelter, food, and uh, video equipment to this guy right here. And of course, watch him live uh, on, on Patreon as well. Go to patreon.com slash e for electric That link is also in the description of this video. All right, looking forward to your comments. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged. Thank <laughs> you.